So going back to the question of data and, and thinking about out of home today, we have to always kind of consider the context of out of home in relation to where else money is flowing in the advertising world. And you look at Google and Facebook and, and now Amazon, what they have is the relevancy, right? If you're searching for a term, then you could provide a relevant ad to reach an, an audience that you know that there's intent. Or if you are with Facebook or Instagram, based upon their, their, their browsing history or their likes, you understand their profile and you can provide a more relevant uh, you know, advertising product to, to reach the, the target audience. Um, for out of home, we, we really up until recently haven't had the, the data, the audience data to be able to provide that relevancy. But that's changed once mobile and, and, and the, the concept of uh, location data being brought into out of home. And so by mirroring, mirroring the ability to target these huge screens that have great exposure and great you know, uh, reach and, and, and dwell times with a, a targeting based upon audience data, all of a sudden we can talk the language of the digital buyers and we can check off the boxes of um, can I have you know, some targeting? Can I have a self-service buying? Can I have an analytics report that shows me who I reached? And up until recently, we, we couldn't say yes to that, but now we can. Um, to me, ultimately, the, the, the mission of programmatic is about bringing more buyers into the marketplace. And the way that we can do that is basically making it more affordable, more accessible, more relevant, um, and doing all the things that the other platforms who've seen exponential growth have proven, right? There's, there's a playbook that's been executed that you just look at what Amazon's been able to just turn on the last you know, two, three years. Um, it, it's out there. So uh, for us, we're super excited about just the ability to make a mark for Adami to help grow the industry by bringing more buyers in um, and to shift the way that the industry worked from ads always being sold to instead ads being made available to buy and just turning that around. And that, you know, that's what the motivates us, and, and we're already starting to see some, some really, really awesome campaigns and, and, and some proof that we're, we're on our way. We can't forget the, maybe the biggest force that hasn't been brought up, up until now, and that's just millennials, right? Digital natives. They think differently, they act differently, they, they don't want necessarily to be sold to, right? I mean, you go to restaurants, you just see people glued to their phones, and, and it's just a whole different way of thinking and operating, and how that's gonna change over time, we'll see, right? But ultimately, if our medium can be brought to them in a way where they can find and buy and manage in the way that they want to buy and manage, that's the upside. Mm. And, and the relationships that we have, some will appreciate that, but a lot would, you know, would rather just get in and get out and be back to Fortnite. Yeah. Social media, millennials, automated buying, a world of convenience, feeding into the me economy. If we can crack those, if we can bring that in and have at a home not look and feel like something else, we'll win. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna take you know, some time and, it's, and, and, and obviously a lot of education, but that's, that's what, you know, what we think will move the needle for the industry is, is, is making sure that Kylie Jenner and the people like Kylie Jenner, the follow Kylie Jenner that are, that are living in that world can uh, appreciate what we have to offer.